Tibetan Terrier The Tibetan Terrier is a medium-sized breed of dogs that originated in Tibet. These dogs are not a member of the Terrier group and were given the name because of their similarity in size and appearance to some dogs of the Terrier family. As in the case with most ancient breeds, its origins are difficult to trace, but it is believed that these dogs were around in Tibetan Lamaist monasteries at least 2,000 years ago. The Tibetan Terrier was primarily bred as a family companion, occasionally used as a watchdog or a herding dog, or even to retrieve objects that fell down mountainsides. It was also believed to be a good luck charm by many, making mistreatment or sale of these dogs a particularly frowned upon activity. Incidentally, it was this role as a gift that helped the breed travel beyond the isolated Tibetan valleys for the first time. An English physician, based in India, got interested in the breed after receiving a puppy in appreciation for a successful operation in the early 1920s, and also brought it to England for the first time. The breed was first recognized in India, reaching dog shows in England in the 1930s and in the US in the 1950s. Time for some rough trivia. Just like the Tibetan Terrier, two other breeds of Tibetan origin are part of the non-sporting group, according to American Kennel Club classification. Which of these is not one of those? A. Tibetan Spaniel B. Lhasa Apso or C. Tibetan Mastiff What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The height range for the adult Tibetan Terrier is 15 to 16 inches and weight range is 20 to 24 pounds. A fully grown Tibetan Terrier resembles a miniaturized Old English Sheepdog. It is a powerfully built and square proportioned dog with large, flat and round feet that produce a snowshoe effect for traction on difficult terrain. The combination of soft, woolly undercoat and profuse, fine, long outer coat provide protection from the harsh Tibetan climate. A fall of hair covers the eyes and face. The well-feathered tail curls up and falls forward over the back. The pendant ears fall not too close to the head and are heavily feathered. Eyes are large and set fairly wide apart. All coat colors are permissible, except liver and chocolate. Grooming The Tibetan Terrier is not a heavy shedder and requires brushing once or twice a week to keep it clean and to prevent matting. The hair can grow quite long and requires occasional trimming. Brushing of teeth, trimming of nails, and cleaning of ears has to be regular. Temperament The Tibetan Terrier is known for its companionable nature and is often called human-like in its personality. Affectionate with its family members and gentle with children, it can be reserved around strangers. Most Tibetan Terriers are known to be very sensitive of their owner's moods. The breed makes for a good watchdog. Training The Tibetan Terrier is a clever and somewhat mischievous animal that needs early obedience training. It does well in a variety of competitions like agility trials and flyball, tracking and herding events. Although an active breed, its exercise needs can be met with a moderately long walk on leash or a somewhat vigorous game in the yard. Health Life expectancy for the Tibetan Terrier is 12 to 15 years. The breed is particularly prone to eye and joint related disorders, including cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, lens luxation, patellar luxation, and hip dysplasia. Prized as a companion for centuries, the Tibetan Terrier is a loving, sensitive, and loyal animal. It can easily adapt to the living conditions of its master, but requires an owner with some experience to keep its mischief within control. Find out if the Tibetan Terrier would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. The Tibetan Mastiff is not part of the non-sporting group. It is classified as a part of the working group, according to the American Kennel Club. That does it for the Tibetan Terrier. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.